Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor, and I just took my son to get his bottom braces on. He did not initially get the bottom braces on, but today he did. And he just got them on, and he said they really hurt. And for those of you that have not had braces, uh, when you first get the braces on for at least two or three days, it's like one of the most sore feelings in the world. They're literally, it's like, putting your teeth in some kind of rack and just tightening it. <laughs> but anyway, so he, he uh, has got that ball rolling. Now we'll be out of braces hopefully in the next year or so. Uh, I think it takes a year or a year and a half. Okay, this is from XRP Lighting the Way. X Lighting the Way. At X Lighting the Way. Um, sent this. And this is pretty darn cool. For those of you that don't know, um, I don't know what the terminology would be for it. I guess she's a developer. Um, and you can follow her. It's XRP Rainmaker, at XRP Rainmaker. And she has been putting some really cool videos out, and she's talking about things that she's developing. Um, and this she sent to uh, Brad Garlinghouse, Joel Katz, Chris Larson, and I guess Lagarde, Christine Lagarde. Um, subject, will work for XRP. I'm not a professional voiceover person, but with your help, Spring, um, this is, and I think this is her company, um, X Wave maybe is what she calls that. Um, he, she's asking for help, maybe funding from Spring could be the next step needed to get mass adoption. And she had put together this little uh, commercial. She's created this ring that you could basically pay, I guess, with XRP by just swiping this ring and walking around with this ring and I showed this before but it's really cool so I wanted to include this in this video so that maybe those guys will see it and help her out um, and if you look in uh, Bob in the deep XRP came in um, he said he'd have to glue it to his finger I lose things too easily cool concept though and then she came in and said in that case I'll, I'll also create a keychain so she's she's thinking like an entrepreneur I like it um, and then uh, he came in and he said, that's cool. Um, good for you. What about security? Like if someone were to get a hold of it, I'm guessing it can be shut down. But anyway, to avoid fraudulent use. And then she replied to him, the security and funds, if you choose the second ring, 129.99 version, that is with Visa. And thus you have the same security level with it, just like you do with your credit card. Also, I appreciate totally all these great questions and it's important for you um, and others to know and what you're seeing here is the evolution of, of uh, product creation and I think it's great so I'm all on board with anyone who is trying to do creative things in the XRP community and trying to do some entrepreneurial things and this girl's obviously very smart so let's help her along spread the word on this retweet this and if you, any of you out there that that know these guys with spring I like Ethan Beard, I think, runs it. Um, let them know about this. Okay, next, this is from Philip DeBlier. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. At A-L-E-Z-A-N-1-1-1. Um, and he sent me this. ECCU plans to issue world's first blockchain-based central bank digital currency in the Caribbean. Um, the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank and the Barbados-based fintech company BIT has signed a contract to conduct a blockchain-based, uh, blockchain-issued central bank digital currency pilot within the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union. The contract was recently signed at the ECCB's headquarters. Okay, this is cool. Now, this is one of the big walled gardens that XRP is gonna gonna bridge. But I just wanted to let you know this won't be the this is the first, but it won't be the last central bank walled garden created. Okay, uh, let me get rid of these and moving along this guy just came onto the scene xrp trooper at trooper xrp this is the second thing he sent me in the last day or so 
this is Warren David, Davidson, and he's one of the two guys that that it, that has uh, put up the um, token uh, taxonomy act. I think I, yeah, I think I said that right. Uh, blockchain. Unfortunately, many do not yet grasp the significance of blockchain. Please help Congress with information, easy one-minute video illustrations of use cases and tokens. Explain how uh, distributed ledger eliminates intermediaries. Tokens um, does not equal Bitcoin. Good laws protect consumers and markets. Um, and we've already got people coming in and, and, and responding to this, but we need to respond as much as possible. Any of you out there that have, and uh, Stephen Dia would be a good one, um, that have little short one minute videos that can help um, this guy sell this because when he does sell this, it's in all of our benefits uh, for XRP to, to be declared to be declared not a security and other digital assets as well. But XRP Research Center has already come in at XRP Center and given them a video how Ripple Networks. All right, next, this is from Mike Preston at Mike Preston CW12 sent this. Um, now this is um, a, a news piece where the SEC chief confirms an analysis that Ethereum is not a security. And I'm not going to get too in depth on this, but I did want to read you this one part. He was, he wrote a letter in response to some, I think some commentary by this William Hinman guy, who's the director of uh, the division of corporate finance uh, at the SEC. And he wrote a response and this is kind of a good explanation of what uh, they're talking about Ethereum here, but this is also, in my opinion, what's going on with XRP behind the scenes. And, and, when, and that is, um, I think that a lot of these, the, the way they're going to handle this and the way they are handling it with some of them is that they're saying there were securities when they came out, but then over time they became decentralized and therefore were not. It says Hinman, as CCN reported, had said in 2018 that a crypto asset like Ethereum, which was initially distributed through a sort of initial coin offering ICO, may have been a security when it was first issued. However, over time, the cryptocurrency became sufficiently decentralized following the network's launch as, among other factors, new currency units came to be introduced through mining rather than a token sale. Um, so, as you can see, there's some Ethereum regulatory certainty right there. Okay, and finally, probably the most important thing that you're going to see today from my video and maybe other people's videos if they don't cover it. Um, th we've been talking about Bob. Well, first, let me give some credit. Peter Benstead made me aware of this. At Lucky Pete 1988. Give him a follow. Um, the question was at, remember, we've been talking about Bob Way, who is an ex-Ripple employee. He was one of the first 10 Ripple employees back when they were called OpenCoin, I believe. Um, and somewhat, the, we've been talking about this XRP chat thread that this guy has been talking in. Well, someone asked him, when moon? Um, and he, he, he gave an answer to it. So I'm not going to read this whole thing to you, but I am going to tell you this. If you have not read anything about XRP since I started this channel, if you've not read one single thing, I want you to read this because this is from someone who was behind the scenes. This is someone's take about XRP and that investment and how that investment. Now, keep in mind, and he tells you, no one should take this as inve investment advice from him or from me. But this is the first time that I can remember that we've had it besides some from Joel cat from David Schwartz. But this is the first time from an actual guy who was there and knows about the creation and was involved in this company from the very beginning. This is a guy who's bullish on ripple and bullish on XRP. He said, so you you need to go and read this. If you want to be excited about your XRP investment, this is the most exciting thing I've read in quite some time about my investment. I already knew what he's saying here, but it's nice to hear someone who's been there, who was there from the very beginning, and who still thinks this way about XRP. We've been right all along. Read this and you'll understand, but I am going to read a little bit of what he said. He said, if I could, 
I gladly trade. He said he had stock in Ripple, the company, as well as owning XRP. He said, if I could, I'd gladly trade my stock for XRP to gain the added liquidity XRP brings. In the long term, I expect Ripple as a company and XRP as an asset to succeed big time. Big time means dramatically transforming and improving the world's financial systems and the way money works today. I'm expecting XRP's long-term moving average to rise as more and more and more transactional liquidity flows through a growing ripple net. In the long term, I expect XRP to be the winning cryptocurrency displacing all others. There it is, folks. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that in the long term, I expect XRP to be the winning cryptocurrency displacing all others. Thank you for listening.